Then sprinkle this. So this is all the seasoning. See, it's chili, pine nuts, and uh, breadcrumbs. You're not um, toasting the, uh, the the fennel seeds. No, here? no, no, no. I, I think the, the flavour is enough from them. Right. You know, if you toast them, I think the flavour comes sort of too strong. So we've got a little bit of dried chili as well. Breadcrumbs, dried chili, a few pine nuts, a little bit of lemon zest. And then just repeat the process. You kind of have sort of two layers. And Where, yeah, whereabouts in, uh, in southern Italy is this from? What um, this sort of Sicilian. Sicilian? Yeah. Okay. The, 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 the Sicilians are the real Italy. Right. Uh, well, would you use Sicilian olive oil? I mean, do you take it that far? Um, yeah, you can do it. It's a lighter, a lighter kind of oil. And then we just more pine nuts, more fennel seeds, a bit more lemon zest. A little drizzle of olive oil to sort of help with the uh, baking. And when this cooks, it comes out this most beautiful silvery skin. So I put this in the oven for about 15 minutes. All going well for you? Great. You can see now. You've got that, the sort of pine nuts, all the oils come out, the pine nuts and, and, and the, the chili and the fennel seeds sort of all kind of... Lovely, great, into great the, smell there. Yeah. Sort of and you've got what, is that, is that, that's four sardines, was it? That's four sardines, yeah, right. so four fillets of sardines. So that would be a that's portion? That's one, that's one portion, but I think that's okay. a perfectly good portion. They're quite rich sardines, because they're, you know, they're oily fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, so what, what are we doing now? I'm going to make a tomato salad with uh, some different varieties of Italian tomatoes. We've got uh, San Mazzano, which is the traditional um, plum tomato they use for... Right. Tin plum tomatoes, mm -hmm. um, a green sort of stripy, I think they call tiger tomatoes. They, they're not ripe, but they've got a quite nice sweet flavour. And this big, big old thing, which is a ox heart tomato, but mm. it's got loads and loads of flavour and very few seeds. Are these little green ones? They're, quite, they're sweet, are they? They're not quite acidic. They're, they're, they're sweet, but got, the nice thing about them is they've got this sort of quite hard texture. Yeah. So it kind of it kind of works really well. So I'm just going to roughly chop these. As usual, everything's roughly chopped. <laughs> yeah. No, I like that. <laughs> and then. Um, I do roughly chopped. Do you? Good. <laughs> <laughs> we all like roughly chopped. Uh, so presumably you're, you're doing a tomato salad because of what, the oiliness of the, of the yeah, fish? Yeah, it kind of cuts the, uh, the oiliness of the fish and, um, you know, tomato salad, spring, summer, mm. you know, it's, it goes really well. And you know, this, is, this is, again, it's one of those sort of dishes that you kind of eat outside and in the garden, you know, yep. on those sunny, sunny days. So, a bit of shredded basil. Just pass uh, that bowl. Presumably, presumably you'd never wash your basil. Um, or would you? Yeah, you should do, yeah. You think? Yeah, because... The I was always told it goes black. Well, basil tends to be grown in Italian sort of, sort of sandy, can be sort of quite sandy soil, so you don't want to get any... If you wash it and leave it and spin it, then it's, the reason it goes black is because it's bruised. Right. Nice amount of seasoning, plenty of black pepper. Salt. Olive oil. And I'm going to be, just get my hands in there and give that a good mix. I smell those tomatoes and basil, it's really... Yeah, it's lovely. Uh, oil though, as well. Eh? So we're just going to put a nice, fresh tasting smell. Some plate. I'm going to scoop this. It's quite good. Cook it on a bit of baking um, paper because we can come off one day. Sardines, and uh, just finished off. A nice half. Big wedge of lemon. Big wedge of lemon. <laughs> That's my kind of cooking. Lovely, lovely beer. Right, let's go and see what these guys think of it, shall we? Looks looks amazing here. There you go, guys. The Tuck in. Yeah, textures of pine nuts. It's very nice and crunchy. It's great with the yeah, pine nuts, crunchy. though, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, the combination of the chili and the, the lemon zest and the pasta is it working? Mm. I'm going to start using dried chili more now. You've inspired me for dried chili. To make Theo sardines al forno, you'll need to buy some freshly caught sardines from your fishmonger. You'll also need lemons, parsley, a red chilli, then fennel seeds, pine nuts and some bread for breadcrumbs. <laughs>